code signal, arcade, absolute value, sum minimization. Hello internet, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving absolute value, sum minimization for code signal. Let's get to it. Alright, so given a sorted array of integers, A, your task is to determine which element of A is closest to all other elements of A. In other words, to find the elements X and A, which minimizes the following sum. Okay, so um, given this expression, you can see here that we're going to compare a bunch of values of x um, to all of the elements in the array and we want to find the smallest difference um, we would output which which number in this array will create that minimum difference with all the other elements and you, you see here for example true for seven um, the middle value is this value that brings the smallest difference um, you can see the calculations here on y. Let me just expand this to make it look nicer. Um, but if it's a tie like two and three, um, then we want to choose a smaller number. Okay. Um, let's see here. Guarantee constraints. There's going to be at least one element in that array, and it could be a negative number or a positive number. So let's begin. So my initial thoughts is that. It's you're going to be an element in the middle of an array, and whatever the cost, it's possible that um, that yeah that if it's going to be well here's something to consider. Let's do this. So the smallest um, answer, the smallest the element here. <laughs> I'd make this better. The element that brings the smallest difference sum with all elements has to be in the middle of the array. That's my initial thoughts because think about it. You can see here in this example that no matter how much you try to shift any other of these numbers, um, they're all related to each other in such a way that the middle value always brings the smallest difference. But then we have to think about the cases when there are an even number of um, in the case with the case of even num of elements in array what you have to do you actually have to choose the smallest of the middle elements so let's think about this here so if it's one two three if it's an odd number, it's definitely going to be just two. But if it's going to be a one, two, 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 three, four, and five, you have to choose three. And no matter how we shift this around, negative ten, and this is going to be, let's just say, um, seven. No matter what, three, um, the middle values always brings the smallest sum, um, smallest sum of differences. So in this case, let me think about this. So how would we find, so the index value starts at always zero. So let's just say there's, we know there's four elements right here and this index is one. So I'm thinking this one's gonna be four minus one divided by two. That is gonna give us the index here, sorry about that. That's going to give us the index of um, of the smallest of the middle of values. Same here, the concept as well. There are three elements, and if we take the size minus one divided by two, that's going to get, get us um, the middle element one. I mean, the middle index. And the index is one. In this case, it's going to get us that middle value. So in that case, I think we should use this, this expression right here, four minus one, three minus one. We're gonna do this. We're gonna return the a dot length minus one divided by two. So that's gonna be the index of where we want to get our value. And to do an index, we just do a of this right here. So let's just take this for example. Let's just take this two, four, seven. So there's three elements, three minus one is two, two divided by two is one, and one happens to be the middle element of this array, so that's the correct answer.
Now, if it were two and three, um, two minus one is one, one divided by two is uh, zero. So, I mean, since there's only two values, the middle value, smallest middle value is two, and it captured it correctly. So let me see if I could run this and if it gets the correct answer or not. Um, that's good, it works. Submit. Hooray, guys, we solved the question. Um, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, please enter it below. Um, I'll run through this one more time. Um, since um, we want to find the, abs the value that brings, that minimizes the following sum of differences with all other elements, it's usually going to be the middle element or the smallest of the middle elements. That's why it's going to be a dot length minus 1. It allows us to follow the, the indexing behavior of Java where the indexing starts at 0. And um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, yeah, definitely. If you have a better answer, we can insert it below. But I think this is just O1 time complexity and O1 space complexity. I think this is the optimal answer. All right, guys, uh, take care and yeah.